I was with a friend of mine who is a trans woman. And I saw how the world, I've known her her entire life. I've seen her go through transition. Seeing how the world saw her when she was at one point in her life and seeing how the world sees her now is mind blowing for me. And I took that concept and I brought it to myself. And it's, it's, not, it's, it's a bit taboo for straight cisgendered men to talk about body image, but that's something I've been dealing with a lot, right? I'm 5'10", 170 pounds, right, roughly. I don't think of myself as a big guy. But I also realize that's tethered to my understanding. I've played sports my entire life. I've, my dad's a big guy. I've been around large dudes. So how I look at myself is a certain way. And then I've heard other people describe me, right? And I had to realize my body represents something. I still haven't fully understood. I'm, I'm, you learn, as everybody, you learn every day, right? So I'm learning what my body represents and what it represents to each person. And that's something that's gotten, that, that, that's gotten me to a point of understanding and really being conscious of how I, how I look, how people see me. Because this is something that I grow with every day. Because how my body is viewed, because I've seen someone call me, oh, the muscular guy. And I don't see myself as that. I don't think I'm small, I don't think I'm tiny, but I don't see myself as a muscular guy. But I've heard someone describe me as that. And that's interesting, and that's something I've had to learn. I've had to realize that each set of eyes will see this body and anybody, but we'll talk about, you'll talk about myself for a second, in a certain way. And that's something that's become very eye-opening to me. Because if I have to do that, as a cisgendered man, right? Taking race out of it, but just being a cisgendered man, it's pretty much the best, best hand you can get in this world, right? If I have to do that, I can think what women have to do, what cisgender women have to do, what trans women and men have to do, and non-gender conforming folks have to do. And body image is something I've, 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 just, I've figured out. I've not figured out, but I've, I'm figuring out. I'm learning constantly that that's, some, that's a perspective that I've, I've had to grow with. That's something I didn't have 10 years ago at 17, that I didn't have five years ago, is that this, this grows and it's changed and how people see me what are the identifying factors how people see me? That's something I've gotten, I've gotten a lot with because identity is important. People have, the buzzword of the past year was, one of the buzzwords of the past year was identity politics, right? Whether it's a good thing or bad thing. It is one of the most important things in the world because we always define ourselves. I know there's people that hate labels. That's a label within itself. And I've gotten better at the understanding of that. Now, I know how I'd label myself and in the order of importance. And these things happen, right? You, it can be black, man, straight, uh, New Yorker, Harlemite. Or it could be anything, right? And how each person finds that individual label, you will work that out, right? Or, because this is a question I like to, I, I've taught students before, and I generally ask this question, how, and the level of importance rank them. What, what's important to you who you are? Your race, your sexual identity, your gender, country you come from, neighborhood. Label that in the importance of who you are, of how you define yourself. Because there's people that may define themselves with queer first and black only at the end. Right? Or anyway, right? That's not to be, that's not to just point anybody out. But how you define yourself is something that always grows, that always changes, and you're always redefining and re-understanding that. So that identity politics is a broad scope. It's something we're figuring out to this day. And it's something that I'm learning constantly and I'm trying to get better at. And I know that by me learning it helps me see it in other folks and try to at least do the one thing I can do is have a conversation about it.